geeks welcome to another video so today we will be discussing about the molecular clock hypothesis now what is this molecular clock hypothesis and why is it being used so basically it is used to relate the differences between the genetic material of two species so consider ape and man we know that these two species have diverged from a common ancestor now if you want to relate the time that has been taken to get the differences between their genetic material you can use this molecular clock hypothesis now it is based on the neutral theory given by kimura now what does the theory state large fractions of mutations are introduced every time a dna is replicated so for say suppose you have the sequence a a a this a a a codes for some amino acid now there is a mutation let's say the mutation is that this a gets converted to g okay now this mutation does not cause any effect you cannot see any phenotypic effect so it will not be affected it will not affect your evolutionary fitness so it's not providing any extra advantage now such mutations since they are not providing any extra advantage natural selection does not act upon them that is it is neither favored nor disfavored so then what will happen to such mutations there are two options option a is the mutation is fixed that is it is carried forward or it is lost and how is it lost by genetic drift now if at all the mutation is fixed the rate at which the fixing occurs is called as a substitution rate and what kimura put forth was the substitution rate is equal to the mutation rate that is the rate at which a particular mutation is fixed is equal to the rate at which new mutation happens now this is true provided that the mutation rate remains constant across species now what are the observations of the kimura theory or what i can say is what are the conclusions that we can draw or the evidences that support this neutral theory first evidence is that the synonymous base substitutions are way higher than the non synonymous base mutations now what do we mean by synonymous base mutations just like the example we spoke about wherein a mutation does not change the code for an amino acid or a protein so such kind of mutations are prominent as compared to the non synonymous base substitutions second the mutation rate is higher in the non coding sequences as compared to the coding sequences lastly in comparison to functional genes that actually have a particular function or code for something evolve very slow as compared to pseudo genes so pseudo genes are those that do not have any functional role they evolve at a higher rate than the functional genes now all of these observations prove that the neutral mutations do have some role to play now the next topic you need to understand is how to calibrate this molecular clock now let me introduce the concept to you say i have these two dna molecules and they are 5% different from each other they had a common ancestor and now they have diverged and there is only a 5% difference now there are two options one either this difference arises with 1% change per million year over a year, period of 5 million years so that is one possibility or second possibility is it underwent a five fold higher rate of mutation in a million years so here the rate of mutation is faster however the number of years taken is slow in the first example the time taken was more and the rate was slower so either of this could happen so without mentioning how many years this change took place i cannot compare the sequence so i need to know 
the time over this which this difference took place so just knowing the percent difference is not enough if i want to compare the two i need to exactly know the time over which this has taken so now how do i come to know about this so the time of particular divergence event can be known mainly by two ways one having a fossil record so from fossils we can date back how many years ago this happened so you can do this or via some geological event like maybe the formation of a river or the formation of a mountain range that separated the two species so via this we can come to know the amount of time and this is called as calibrating the clock so we have to mention the time that is required or the time through which this divergence occurred now there is a relationship or a formula i can say and the formula goes as r is equal to d by 2t what is d here d is the proportion of base pairs that differ between two sequences for example the sequence of ape and man so how many base pairs differ between the two that is d what is t it is a time in million years from which the di divergence event started for example there was squirrel a and squirrel b and now there was a barrier that was formed between them say suppose a big mountain was formed now that particular time where the mountain was formed would be the t so after that they had diverged what is r r is the rate of nucleotide substitution which is measured in per million years so you can find the rate of the substitution if you have the proportion of differences between the two sequences and the time over which this divergence took place we can understand this through a example so this was a question asked in csir net now the question says that the two species a and b diverge from a common ancestor about 9 into 10 raised to 6 years ago so what would this 9 into 10 raised to 6 years be definitely it is the time that it has taken so it is t if the rate of divergence per base pair is estimated to be 0.0015 per million years it is the rate meaning it is r okay now what is the proportion of base pairs that differ between the two species proportion of base pairs that we had represented by t so how to calculate this yes we have the formula d is equal to r into 2t what we require was d r is given 2 and t now why have not considered this 10 raised to 6 because the t has to be written in million years so 10 raised to 6 is a million so therefore i have only written 9 and if you calculate it the answer comes out to be 0.0270 so if you learned something from this video and if it was informative please like the video share and subscribe to my channel bye